Yeah, pretty crazy world we live in. Yeah. Not criminally responsible. That's crazy. Welcome to Canada, where our court system is whack. Exactly. Welcome to the criminal justice system, where everybody is found guilty before a trial. Nowadays, that is. Picton? Yep. A good old Picton case. Okay, so we're sauteing or searing the beef off, not sauteing it. We're searing it. High heat, so there's lots of smoke. Um, to get as much color on it, flavor in there. Then we'll add our onions. Our garlic ginger paste, our spice mixture, and we will let this, yeah, do its thing. Do its thing like a chicken wing. Then we'll get on to making our naan bread, our dough for that. Um, pretty simple recipe. At that same time, we'll start soaking our rice because it takes 20 minutes to soak our rice. This should take like about two hours to break, to be honest. Um, that's why I'm trying to get it started as quickly as possible to get that going. Um, I think we'll put it in the oven just so we have like more burner space. Actually, no, we'll leave it on the stove top. Fuck, fuck the oven. Fuck the oven. Um, to be fair, we have it easy compared to our neighbors down south. Nothing against the Americans, obviously. Yeah, like. We do have it a lot easier here than um, a lot of people in the United States of America, so, you know. It, it does suck in the sense of what they have to go through now. Um, just, but at the same time, it's like their government allows, allows, like, their government isn't for the people anymore, and neither is ours if you really think about it. Our government isn't for the people. They'll say anything. They'll do anything. They get it elected. So whatever. Um, we're just lucky that like our our founding fathers and people before like capitalism arrived in our country um, got their shit straight to um, provide us with you know like our healthcare system and stuff like that, like, so, I remember, we're somewhat a bit luckier from that, like, side of it, because, um, more oil, onions in, there we go, yeah, onions, saute that off. There we go, open a window, Damn. Smoking in here. Maybe I'll get you a nice uh, mini rice cooker next time. What? What do you mean? Why? For me? That's the widely known Asian secret to cook rice. Oh, I have a rice cooker, Manny. So I'm not I'm not worried about and I have a little one. Where is it? Yeah, it's back here. But I have like a little guy that makes like three cups of rice maximum. That's all I really need if you think about it. 
Um, yeah, we have a good social program. We do. We do have good social programs. And we're lucky enough that, like, our government, before capitalism, like, this is all, like, 50s, 60s, 70s, all, like, you know, got together. And we're like, okay. Like, the person that gave us international health care wasn't even, like, a federal politician. He was a freaking provincial politician. And it caught on so well in, I think it started in Manitoba. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure... It started in Manitoba, and uh, he was an NDPer. So, can the garlic paste in there now? Oh yeah! I'm gonna start pulling up off all those brown bits you put in the pan. So it's pretty much deglazing it. Pull up all that nice, beautiful flavor, the beef left behind, just like so. Yeah, I like this, Maddie, in a pot. Um, I have, I have this, Maddie. I think it's in this one. I just have so many different races right now. Oh, Holly organized this all last night on stream, so very nice of her. I'm supposed to put everything back. Yeah, here's our bismati. So, we have bismati. That's what we'll be using tonight for our rice. So then that one needs to go back there, and that one needs to go back there. She literally said, if I don't put things back where they're supposed to go, um, she'll kill me. She'll, she'll literally murder me in my sleep. So, I'm going to try my best to keep it as organized as possible. Um, what's up, Shiva? How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. So yeah. Um, anyway, so we put our half an onion, our ginger garlic paste, about a fluid ounce, so I'd say about a tablespoon went in there. Uh, sorry, two tablespoons of the ginger garlic paste. We're sauteing this off just to pull up all that flavor, release all those flavors of the onion, garlic, ginger, bam, in there like so. Then we're going to start adding our like dried spices and toast those off in there. So all those dried spices go right in there. Um, in this case, I don't, I didn't have like chilies to like cook off or like toast. So we're going to add a bit of this hot chili powder. Because I don't know about you guys, but I like my chili or my curries pretty freaking spicy. So I always go in and I buy like the, the hot stuff. The hot, the hot chili powder. So we'll put a tablespoon of that in there. Like so. Whew. That, I can, whew. Yeah. That is spicy. That just hit me. Hit me in my mouth. It smells good. Oh, hit me in my nose too now. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Um, curry, actual for two. Like so. Um, I'm guessing he's gonna use jasmine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no jasmine. Um, some turmeric in there. And we're gonna get these toast and all. We'll just put a teaspoon in. Actually, no, we'll do two. It's usually like when you're using spices and herbs, or more spices, you always want to like equal part everything. Um, if you didn't know that, now you do. So it's like whenever you're going to make like a spice rub or something, you try to make equal parts of everything going into it. Okay. So, let's toast it off already. Our onions are in there. It smells very nice and fragrant. As you can see, it's just a dry mess in there right now, as you can all see. So, I don't know. Just letting it do its thing. Um, I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Just, just, you know, streaming, having a good time, enjoying myself with all of you here tonight. Um, yeah, so good stuff. Like, yeah, really good. Uh, and then, open up a can of the diced tomatoes 
I know I didn't taste my own tomatoes. Oh my god, make my own sauce. How dare you? And we're gonna throw that in there. Like so. Like so. Like so, just right in there. And yeah, curry done. No, kidding. Um, so yeah, one fourteen. It's like a fourteen ounce can usually, about seven hundred ninety six milliliters. So yeah, that in to the pot. This we're really using just like more of a pan tonight. That's okay. We're supposed to make smaller portions of everything now. Um, and then we're going to add, I didn't pull the stock. I'm an idiot. Do we just throw it in there frozen? Yeah, why not? Um, so first, this is beef stock. We're just going to soften it up on the outside. Well, Indian cooking is about balance of flavors too. Uh, but like most rubs, um, doesn't look like a smaller portion. That's a pretty small portion for me. That's like I'll have a dish tonight, because I actually didn't eat before I started streaming tonight. So, we're going to be good, right? Like, I'm actually going to eat on stream with everybody. So, I'll eat half of this tonight, and then I'll eat, like, because I'm off of work tomorrow. Um... And I have no like actual remaining food in my fridge from anything else. I'll have this for lunch, most likely tomorrow. And then tomorrow, stream, we're actually, because in Canada tomorrow, it's National Pancake Day tomorrow, um, we're gonna do a big pancake stream instead of Bar Loco. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do pancakes. A lot of different kinds of pancakes. We're gonna do savory pancakes and some sweet pancakes. And my wife is off tomorrow, so she'll be here to eat pancakes. So, the shark shirt, yes, exactly. The, the, the shark, the sharkiness. Okay, I think, I think we'll be able to get this out and in. Yeah, we did, there we go. There we go, perfect, just like that. Our, uh, our veal stock, right in there. Let's just let that uh, slowly but surely melt faster than anything. Uh, Canada has an official pancake holiday. Uh, no, well, I guess you could technically say that. Everybody's blowing it out of proportion. It's all over social media that like I follow of late. So I was like, well, might as well just, you know, do a pancake stream instead of something boring like Barlotto. Because I made risotto yesterday it just makes more sense to make something a little bit more different so that's what we're gonna do um oh my god pancakes that's my favorite uh yeah yeah no pancakes are good um that is the cutest canadian thing i have ever heard uh the u.s has some of the craziest stuff um when it comes to when it comes to uh, uh national food holidays I think there's literally in the United States of America, uh, they have a day for like everything, like every day of the year. If you look up um, national food um, holidays, USA, they have a day for everything. Like out of all 365 days out of the year, there is something that they celebrate food wise. That is what's crazy, I think. Um, just finished dinner here, had Chipotle sesame chicken skewers, and southwestern rice pilaf. Ooh, I like rice pilaf. That's pretty much what we're making tonight, actually, too. Except, like, the Indian flair. Um, where was I? And for dessert, individual homemade berry berry pie. Nice. And vanilla ice cream. Ooh, yeah. What, which one was... Oh, like, the... The chicken was stuffed? Sorry. Anyways, the Instagram thing, I tried to fix, and I did, and then my wife changed it back today, and that's 